always ridden East Coast, and uh, I'm real comfortable with the tracks and the dirt, and uh, I actually just wanted to ride East. I, I really don't like the hard pack when it gets real dry, dry slick, and I'm a fan of the tacky, ruddy tracks. I was always just with the attitude that, you know, if he shows up, he shows up, and, uh, you know, nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to do my own thing, and, uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the guy's, yeah, definitely going to be really hard to beat, but, you know, maybe he'll beat himself, and uh, I can just make sure I'm doing what I need to do. I, I actually was almost going to do a Kawasaki deal. Um, I was going to ride the new 250F, but um, once I kind of got into serious talks with them, Yamaha basically took over because I had a contract with them last year and uh, basically kind of acted on their first ride refusal and wanted to keep me around. And uh, I don't know, Yamaha was good about it, though. I mean, I've told everyone how great they treated me and they, they did the things the right way. They didn't just, uh, you know, just match Kawasaki's offer. They, they bettered it and, and uh, gave me a second-year deal. So and I'm really happy to, to be where I'm at. Yeah, um, as it had been a while since that had happened, so... It was uh, real nice to be wanted and, and, and know I was going to have a job. It's no big secret. Um, I don't know. I just I have a decent routine that I go through. I start two feet down and start second gear, of course, on the 2 the F. And I don't know. It's all in timing. I don't know. I, I just kind of get in the zone and concentrate really hard when I, you know, when it's time for the gate to drop. And if you can get that first little jump, you get an elbow on the guys next to you and then you're gone. I guess I could say I've been a little cocky about it before because uh, when we did our parade lap a couple of times I've uh, pointed to uh, Jay with the AMA. I told him, told him to watch for my front wheel <laughs> so I told him I was going to get the whole shot and I did but uh, I don't know I I think it's something that is fun for me. It's another little extra challenge in there. It's uh, reflexes and technique both. I mean, I, I got quite a few whole shots when I was in the KTM days too. I, I remember bringing some home. And, um, I don't know. I just, like I said, got a good thing working, and I'm gonna just stick with it. I had a bike last year that I really couldn't complain about. It was it was great, and. Uh, uh, I'd say my bike's definitely, you know, faster this year, which is, you know, going to be unbelievable. So I, I guess no excuses now. I better pull shot every single race. But um, I don't know. It's going to be a lot very similar, I guess. Um, I already had, you know, Ross at Enzo doing my suspension last year. They're actually two last two years, and the team uses him. So I'm real comfortable already. And uh, I don't know. The bike's really good. Can't. having some people that are in charge and can, you know, make sure stuff gets done where the last couple of years I was doing it on my own or, you know, giving my mechanic direct orders and basically having to, you know, be the chief and the Indian all at once, you know, and I, I, don't know, I really like having, the, you know, the team atmosphere and, and uh, a really strong program. Being a privateer, being broke, um, and I mean, some of the best is you have a little extra freedom. I mean, you, you make your own schedule and your own, you know, plans, and you know, you, you call the shots. But uh, I don't know. I mean, even even on a factory team, we're we get to do pretty much what we want, uh, make it happen, but. I can't really say there's a downfall to, to being on the back regime. I mean, it's what I wanted. It's what I need to uh, really be a, you know, like a title contender. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I thought it was cool to uh, go out and win my first race with a new team and, you know, just put a little extra, you know, something in their head to, you know, make them know that, they made the right choice in hiring me, and I don't know, that's, that's what I'm here to do is have an even better
better year coming up. I had a pretty good year last year, but I want to just keep improving. And um, you know, I want to win for these guys, and I want them to be proud of me. And, and uh, I don't know, I'm working hard, and they're working hard. So with that combination, we have to go up. Not too mysterious. I'm a pretty normal guy, I think. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, you know, I, not like some people, I guess, where uh, I like to spend my days lounging around. I think I'm kind of a person that's always got to be doing something to get an adrenaline rush. So I like doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and I like to scuba dive and. Uh, bungee jump and just all kinds of stuff. I fly airplanes too, so that's that's a few a few things that maybe you know no one would ever guess. Yeah, yeah, that's new too. So maybe nobody knew about that. Yep, first one, and I could see how they could get addictive. <laughs> I can't get too out of control, but you know, I wanted to get something that you know was meant something was special to be, and I'm a Christian and. Um, I don't know, I, I don't want to just go get a bunch of stuff that doesn't mean anything, but I don't know, I, I like it, it turned out good, and I'm happy with it. <laughs>